Each pound. Ah. <laughs> oh, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, it looks great. It's time for the piece de resistance. Oh. Ah. <laughs> Let's, Let's catch, catch them all, all with Catch, catch em all, all Fishing with Zach Ketchum. Well, guys, our day is over. As you can see, we caught some beast kingfish. The link to his YouTube channel and to get a kayak experience fishing charter just like this is going to be in the description below, guys. Thank you so much again, Brian. I appreciate your fish pound. <laughs> Bad boys out. By the water. Guys, you have to come down here to South Florida yourself some awesome fish some beautiful people and catch them all what's up guys i'm out here today with all the fish we just caught in our last episode if you haven't checked that out you need to right now with pushing water kayak charters we caught ourselves quite a little bit of fish today let's go one big old kingfish jeez louise let me hold that thing out for you that's picture worthy i think bomb there goes one king king number two. Oh, solid unit Sheesh. Caught a few more, but they were a little bit smaller. We could have kept fishing for them, but I had to head in and edit a video for you guys. Here are three eating fish today, guys. We're gonna take care of these things. We're gonna feed all of our family, friends, and neighbors with these big guys. These are all Smoker Kings delicious. There's another way I'm gonna show you guys how to prepare these things and my personal favorite and easiest way to prepare them. We also caught some big old shark bait, baby. Oh, Barracuda Nuda, what's going on? Let's see you bad boy on the table and obviously the best shark bait of all time bonies bonita guys ah he's stuck he's eating me he's biting me i don't even think all this stuff can fit on the table guys just in case you're wondering i got this table from home depot it comes waist high so you don't have to bend over and pack up stuff it can be really annoying bending down and hacking stuff or, or sitting down without having any leverage to cut these fish we're going to take care of our shark bait first leave this stuff as whole as we can possibly leave it and save it for later and these guys are beauties. I'm gonna go ahead and leave these on the grass below as I take care of this shark bait. You guys sit down. Oh, oh, we got a runner. They have these huge Ziploc bags for sale. You need them. They're two gallon Ziploc bags, I believe. You can save anything in these things. They're amazing. All I'm doing to the shark bait to prepare it for the mighty jaws is chopping off the tails, throwing that thing for the turtles. The turtles. Chopping it up so it fits in the bag. I think I'm gonna go with three pieces. I like to keep the head all together. This is a mega piece right here. You want to make sure that your knife is serrated when you're dealing with stuff like this, or else you're going to have a real pain. Give myself three pieces of each. Could always make the pieces smaller when I get out there. Guys, this is prime shark bait. Prime. Thank you so much, Pushing Water Kayaks, for taking me out there, catching us that bait. Guys, if you didn't notice, this got hit by a shark earlier. When we were catching that thing, it's all damaged. I just chopped it up right here, kind of ruined it, but this guy was already on his way out. Remember with your shark baits, guys, you want to keep all the blood and everything you can together. So when it's melting out there in the ocean, oh, all that chum is getting out there for him. Please do yourself a favor and do this outside. Hold on a second. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. We try to keep these things as whole as possible. All the guts and everything in there, nice and intact because we want the sharks to smell all of that bait, all of that blood in the water, they will come to you, they will pick up your bait, and you will have a monster on the end of your line. In two bags, that's it. Those two fish, those huge fish that we just had on the table are now in bags, ready to go for your next adventure. Big wine. Big wine. Oh yeah, what's up big boy? One of the coolest parts about this whole thing is what is actually in a barracuda stomach, guys. I like to check out these predators and see what's inside. Ah! <laughs> I can't even open the mouth on this thing. Check the, check the last video if you want to see the teeth on that thing. That's ridiculous, but look. This beautiful fish, guys, is a voracious predator, and they always have things inside their mouths. Check this out. I might not be able to cut with this little knife. I'm going to get a sharper one right now get my bub blade out here check this out dude this is absolutely the coolest part of filleting a fish checking out what they ate look at this what's in here guys I'm wait 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 take a guess what kind of fish or creature is in this thing's stomach I'm gonna give you guys five four three check it out I, I get tired of waiting all right so we cut open his stomach right just like that let's see what kind of fish this is. 
Oh, what is that, guys? I'm going to let you guys guess. Uh, I thought it was a little jack, but yeah, it's, I think that's a little jack, guys. It's a little squished up. Uh, I'm going to, I don't know. Is it a sardine or a little tiny jack? I can't really tell. It's a goggle eye. Oh, is it a little gog? No. I have no idea. It's so messed up. I can't tell. Look at the teeth marks on it. Look at the teeth marks on it, though. Everywhere. This guy was snatched up by this big old coot. Look at the size of this thing to eat that little tiny bait. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Turtle food now. The rest of you is going to the sharks. Once again, my Megala bag always saves the day. Excuse me, Mr. Ducks, or geese, or whatever you are. Mr. Ducks, can you shut up? Geese, whatever those things are. Hey, 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 hey. No. Give me a minute. Shut up! Hey! 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 No, you can't come fishing now. No. Leave me Freaking Canadians. I love I love Canadians. I like Drake. Time for the piece de resistance. Ow! Oh. <laughs> Should probably just do one at a time. Time for the piece de resistance. <laughs> yeah. Nice and clean out here today. So the easiest way to clean kingfish, the easiest way of all time, is just by staking this whole bad boy up. The stakes are even big enough to get all the way down to here. I like to cut right here. I don't eat the tails of most of these fish. Uh, what I like to do, ooh, look at that. Cartilage, it's kind of interesting. Can I touch you? Get him. The bones are very, very large in these kingfish. You can stake them up all the way down to the tail. Whoa! He tried to run away. Just like so. Whoa, 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 whoa! Everyone's running away. I don't like to waste any of the meat, especially on a prized fish like this. Oh man, glorious. All right, cool, I'm gonna put that to the side. Let's go ahead and give our big fish a little bit of treat. See you later, alligator. Can't use you for bait, but we got a couple extra pieces. Let's go feed the mighty whales. Come on over guys, come on over guys. I know it looks dirty, but that's just because the algae is rising to the surface. Check them out, check them out. Ho ho, here's my babies guys. Come here, here baby. Come on, get in here. Oh, what grabbed that? Oh, the arowana. The arowana just grabbed that in my hand. Oh my God, look at this guy. Look, they're all chasing now. You can't eat that big piece. Who's gonna get it, the Paku? Jeez Louise. <laughs> anyway, who else is here? Come here. Here, baby. Mm. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Here you go. Here you go. Yeah. We got some big boys out here. Fingers in. It's a little dark right now. The Paku have sharp teeth and they will grab this out of my hand. Come on. Here's a Paku. Oh, it's getting dark. Well, it's getting a little dark. I can't see them, so I'm just going to go ahead and throw these pieces in here. Go ahead, enjoy, enjoy everyone, enjoy. Dude, I can't believe that freaking arrow grabbed me like that. That was crazy. Go on, enjoy, guys. Oh, here we go. Here's one more. Come on. Hey, buddy. No, Paku. Paku are looking at me. Too spooked. A little bit too spooked, guys. Let's get back to flying. So I'm gonna go right here through the anus. Gonna chop right through the belly. Boom, just like that. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna just grab with my hands all of the guts. Try not to chop chop through the inside of the meat right here. All this stuff will come right out. Just drag your hand right through there. All the guts and blood and stuff will come right out. The stomach of this one is already gone. Nothing was in that bad boy, as you can see. And that's about it. Go ahead and rub my hands through there. Powerful hose will do the trick for you. And just like that, we have a perfectly clean fish. Fins while you're doing that, boom, easy peasy lemon squeezy. The smaller fins really don't bother me. Fins like this, fins like this though, I like to chop right off. Get right under the skin, they usually chop right off, just like that, boom. Their bones are really thick, so if you don't have a serrated knife, you're gonna have a tough time. Keep it like that, everyone can enjoy them. It won't take you very long to cook. This will be a feast to remember. Perfectly cut. Oh, wait, look who it is. Hey, what's up, guys? You guys like fish? Hold on a second. Maybe they want a piece. Hey, hey. Oh, you got it. <laughs> he likes sushi. Here you go, buddy. Oh, Ronnie Mama, too? 
There you go. Everybody likes that sushi. <laughs> I'm gonna go feed our giant pets the rest of this, and all this is going to hungry, hungry mouths, and our mouths too. Got some more sandwiches for you. Check it out, check it out. I know you're all pissed. Look at the arowana. Look at the arowana sitting right there waiting for me. Look at this bad boy. Here, buddy. Here, buddy. Come here. Here check it out. Here you go. Oh, what a monster that thing is. Where should it move? You see it? I don't, actually. Me either. That's weird. She's probably hiding in the air somewhere. Oh, well. I just fed her the other day. Hey, guys. What's going on? Oh, don't be spooked. Don't be spooked. All right. There's a, here's a red tail again. Here, buddy. Mm. <laughs> oh, here's the rest. Here's the rest. Here's the rest. Stick on. Stick on. Oh. Oh, and that's that's our bad boy right there. Paku, who needs some? Who needs a piece? Oh, the big Paku just came up. Look at that piece. Let's see the Paku come grab that. Oh yeah, I saw him that time. Here, here's our Megalodon. What's up, Free Willy? Oh, well, we gotta get cooking. <laughs> I don't wanna grab another piece, bro. I wanna grab another piece? Yeah. yeah. It's weird. Where should I move? It's weird. It's so dark I can't even see. She's probably hiding. I mean, I did, I did feed her the other day. No worries. Shermo, we shall feed you soon. How a kingfish fillet looks, just in case you guys were wondering. Boom. Sexy, huh? That's a whole lot of meat, baby. Check that out. <laughs> that could feed anybody. But like I said, it falls apart very easily. I like to stake it up. It comes right off the bone. And I'm gonna show you how right now. How you doing, buddy? You good? We just fed him not too long ago. Nighttime. How about you? Nighttime for the blob too. Look at the blob over here. What's up, dude? You chilling? You, you might need a little bit more cover, but whatever. Time to go to sleep, buddy. Oh, sorry, that's lightning. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Let's eat. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I do have our fillets, King Macro, fresh caught, guys. Once again, if you do want to see how we caught this, check the last video with pushing water kayak charters. Come on over here, guys. I can't believe it's not butter. We're cooking this thing real time, live speed, guys. Oops, I need a knife. I need something to get this butter up. Fork is gonna do just fine. We got the Danos right here. We have the pan heating up. Check it out, check it out, live fire. Boom. Nice fat chunk of I can't believe it's not butter. Mmm. I like to make sure that the Danos can stick on this fish. Just threw some extra butter on that. Way Dano seasoning, thank you very much. Once again, guys, they just sent me a huge pack of Danos. Check it out. I have literally so many packs of Danos up there. Much Danos for seeing that last video. I love your stuff. Again, another free shout out for you. Open. Dude, do not spare any expense on the Danos. Guys, this stuff is the best. Flip it over. Do the same thing on this side. Oh yeah. Man, this stuff is so good. It's ridiculous. I know you guys are like, oh my god, you're putting so much on here. Guys, this is honestly the best tasting seasoning I've ever had in my life. I'm obsessed with it. That's why I'm doing this for free. Simple, ready to dive in. Try not to burn yourself or your cameraman, Joey. <laughs> Go ahead and get your fork, move it around nice. Boom. That's going to cook up just right. Looking good. I'm going to give it a couple minutes with the lid on. Sit and wait and let that fish taste nice, moist, and seasoned. It looks great. It's already cooked all the way through. Honestly, you could probably eat it right now. But I like the black in my fish on both sides. Oh my god. That just looks so freaking good. Blacking it up, baby. <coughs> <coughs> Woo! It's getting into my lungs. A couple more minutes, we're gonna have a delicious plate ready to eat. Alright, baby, heat's off, lid's off. Woo! That is blacking as black as can get. I'm gonna put this lid over to the side. <coughs> Check it out. I normally like to put it on a little bit of a napkin to let the, the grease just drip off, but I think I'm just gonna suck up that grease because it has Danos in it. <laughs> oh yeah, looking good. Then we need a bit more lighting. Come on, oh, yeah, got that over here. Oh, okay, okay, fork, please, Joey, stand fork, please. Thank you, my friend. Guys, let's enjoy this food together. And by together, I mean all of you at home, Getting really hungry as I eat this food all by myself. Oops. It's perfect. I used, I can't believe it's not butter. I didn't even use real butter. I didn't even use real butter. I really don't know why it's so good. It's just, 
it, it, it just is. Chicken, fish, seafood, pork, everything. I think everything says that, but I don't, I don't know if anything lives up to it. Like I said, it falls apart very easily. So I like cooking it this way because it's a lot easier to eat. Oh, 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 no! Oh. Can you just skin everything? Guys, guys, this is so good. Thank you so much for enjoying this episode with me because I don't really do that many catch and cooks, but this is a really good one and I've been looking forward to it for a long time. Once again, thank you to, <laughs> once again, thank you to Brian at Pushing Water Kayak Charters for helping us catch the fish. If this didn't make you hungry, I don't know what will. Thank you, Daniels, again, and catch them all. Catch them all. Catch them all. Catch them all.